Hey guys! Jabby back. So I've done some grinding. A little bit of grinding. And I'm officially at a point where, uh... We've literally discovered all the recipes. Yay! But, uh, sorry not sorry at this point. We're using a guide for these. Why? Because it takes forever to get all those points up. Let's see. Carl. Gift. Embroidered hand towel. Four count. No, that's for Tamal and Bruce. Which means I've given one of them to one of them already. Silk screen band t shirt. It's for Allison Rose. That makes sense. Fantastical short story. Oh, this is definitely Carl, isn't it? Yep. Best friend. Yeah, I had my mom read some of it. And she liked it. I mean, she liked it in that motherly sort of way. The way where anything I do is a wondrous miracle. But it felt good to share it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I think I'm okay that maybe this is not our thing. I think... I think it was just important to me that she knows. Like, maybe I'll always be her baby. But it feels good to know that she has this more complete picture of me now. Yeah, totally. Mm hmm? You got that far off look in your eyes just now. The one where you're going to start giving me vacant... Uh-huh. Sorry. Just thinking about my parents. What's going on? Well... To them, I'm this kid. Especially to my mom. How she has me firmly cemented. But I don't see myself like that anymore. And who I am to them is so ingrained in our relationship. It's hard to change that. When I was in Back Hill, I just felt trapped. In like this suspended state. Not a child, but not an adult. And you moved! I moved. So, where is it with your mom now? Okay. I mean, it's a bit tense. But ever since Maxine passed, I don't know. She's been different. Well, from our experience, it gets better over time. It took a while, but I relate more with my parents now as an adult. Yeah, I'm not sure. She just... She expects me to be a certain way, do certain things. But she doesn't ask if that's even what I want. Well, have you told her any of this? No. Maybe that's a good place to start. Maybe. Yeah! Carl's creativity! We don't need to give them all this stuff, by the way. We are definitely going to hit their max friend level. Oh, we did give him that. So, the other one's for Bruce. Let's see. Silks. Nope. Fantastical short story. Nope. Photo of a biker convoy. Nope. Illustration of a classical museum. Nope. Duffel bag? No. Oh, this is Tamal. I was thinking this is Fernando. I'm a dum dum. Hold on. <laughs> Let me. Uh, da 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 da. Photo of a biker convoy. We got a real big convoy. Let's see. He also likes. The illustration, yep. 
I guess not. Cassidy, hello. Congratulations on your exhibition. It was beautiful. Tomorrow, you're gonna make me cry. Thank you. Your centerpiece sculpture in particular was very striking. I appreciated how you combined organic material and industrial forms. The artist note was also very insightful. You gave me a lot to think about. I don't know what to do with compliments. <laughs> My apologies, we can change the subject. It's, it's okay, it's still all just really weird, you know? I never thought I'd actually get to the point of putting on a show. I wouldn't have without Sophie's help. She's very nice. I'm offended that you never made the time to introduce us. I know, I know. She said that about you as well. I meant to, I was just kind of, you know, lost in myself for a while, you know? Still struggling with that. I think I always will. It's been getting easier, though. Has therapy been helpful? Very, very. It's helped my art, too. Sometimes when I made things, it was like a scream. Just running off pure emotion. I can direct that now. To a degree, anyway. I can give it purpose. That's wonderful to hear. And I heard from my mother that a certain someone has finally mastered the Kima Chihuahua. Uh, yes. I don't know why it was so hard. You underspice things. It's not your fault. I know that learning to use anything other than salt and mayonnaise has been a struggle. Uh, hey, hey now. Oh, I hate mayo. Back Hill is rural and mostly pretty white, but it's not... Wow, this pepper is spicy level of girl in white. I'm kidding, mostly. It's fine, you're right anyway. I didn't even know what garam masala was. Until you got me that job. You've certainly enriched my life and my palate. Happy to have been of service. Do you want to join us for the hike this weekend? I have finally convinced my parents that they can take some time off. You get out of the city for a while. Without things burning to the ground. You've been a good influence on them. I'll see how I feel on the day, if that's okay. Of course. Take the time you need. Yay! We've maxed out Tamal! Tamal is the bestest bud! That's one down. Fernando! Gifty. Let's see. The hand towel is for Bruce. Silk screen. Nope. Short story is nope. Huh. Really weird on the tamal thing. I thought no, I thought it was gonna be. That's supposed to be one for tamal, but eh, whatever. It didn't have the. I didn't notice the <gasps> happy pop up. Classical musician. Do we have anything for Fernando here? Handmade duffel bag? Salvage leather bell? 
Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff for Tamal, but nothing for him. I'm sorry, Fernando, you're lagging. Ev. All right, hand towel. No, silk screen, no. Short story, yes. Confidant. You owe me a story, you know? Well, maybe I should don't feel like sharing. And now you owe me an apology. I... You've been a real jerk to me recently, Cassidy. Now, I know you're going through a rough patch. But so is everyone else. You don't get a license to be cruel. Just because you feel bad. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. I've been worried about you, kid. Figured I'd give you some space. Wait until you're ready to talk. Meek and quiet just done shoot you, cats. You're a star. You shine. And downness don't sit right on your face. Well, that's very kind and poetic of you. But I'm on a, I'm a smoking wreck of a human being. I'm apparently not fit to be around others right now. Oh no. No, not letting that one happen. Look, you owe me a story. But I have another for you. It's real short, okay? You ready? Yeah, I'm really not in the mood. Once upon a time, someone was in a bad way. And they ran away from their family and their friends and their home. And they traveled the country and tried to follow their dreams. But it turns out all they were dreaming of was getting away from their own damn self. Turns out traveling gave them plenty of alone time. Showed them who they really were. Someone that maybe didn't, they didn't like that much. And then one day, someone real important had to, to them had enough. They were tired of waiting for someone who would rather run away from their problem than put the effort in and work it out. They moved on. And our protagonist stopped moving. Stopped traveling. Settled in the place they got the call. Skin itching every day. Not knowing if they want to get back on the road and keep running. Or if it's time to get to know themselves and build a life. If the life they're living now can't even be called a life at all, or just survival. Think about that story, kiddo. I gotta get back to work. Ooh, powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Brucey, Brucey, Bruce. You are the new owner of a nice embroidered hand towel. Embroidered hand towel! 
I said to them, Felix, you're a truly skilled researcher, but you're a terrible writer. I'm gonna make heads or tails of this paper, and it's in my own field. It's little wonder academia is so frightfully inaccessible. If you cannot express your findings in a manner that I can explain to my eight-year-old niece, you need to shape up. That girl is so curious. She's a gift to the world. She asks questions that force me to blow the dust off my brain and go research again. This week, Cassidy, she asked me what plastic is made of. And it led me down the most wonderful rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. In the process, I discovered several fascinating nuggets of information about manufacturing history. And I've had to set aside an old laptop as a dedicated research machine. You see, I can't play my games if I have six different browser windows with a hundred tabs open on each. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you aren't paying any attention at all, are you? Hmm. Cassidy, dear girl. Are you alright? Uh, uh, huh? Sorry, I... Wasn't listening, yes. You know you can always tell me if you have no desire. To listen to a tangent, right? It's... it's fine, don't... don't worry. I'm sorry. I just... I don't know, it's hard to focus. Sorry. No need to apologize, Cass. Go on home. Get some rest. You look like you need it. You don't get anything done while you're in a downswing. And it's alright. Just focus on yourself for a while. I'll be around, should you need me. Thanks, Bruce. Bruce is the only one that is like, are you okay? Bruce is just like, something's up. Go take a nap. Tell me if you feel better. If you don't, let me know if you need anything. Go, Bruce. Alisonio, you got a lot of things there. Hmm. Well, set the screen for you. A fantastical short story is probably right up your alley as well. Yes, it is. Best friend! I get that you're worried about me. But I really don't think that... You need to get out of the house more! Sophie texted me yesterday and told me... That you've been spending most of your time in bed. Look, I don't have depression, but I know... I don't have depression either. I'm just tired. I don't want to go out. Sounds like something you should talk to a doctor about. Tiredness and sadness don't usually don't usually result in having trouble feeding yourself and ignoring all your friends for weeks. I'm fine. You are not fine. People don't usually get like this. Unless someone died if they don't have depression. Yeah, well, I've been like this since before someone died. It's just part of who I am, okay? Cassidy, I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm fine. 
I don't get why everyone is so nosy. Because it's really rare that someone is actually fine when they say they are. Do you feel fine? Or are you just being defensive? I mean, yeah? I feel fine. I guess. You know I don't like confrontation. You know it's hard for me to speak up to people directly when there's a problem. Yeah, I know. You really think there's a problem? Yeah, I do. It scares me, Cass. I've missed you. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. I just... I don't want something to be wrong with me? People keep saying something's wrong with me. And it scares me. I don't want to be broken. Hey, hey! You stop that. Broken? Cass. No. No, ma'am. I get that you live in a pretty isolated place. But I promise it's really not that big of a deal. What if I try and do something and it doesn't work? I'm so tired. All the time. Then you ask for help. We'll try to help you. Try something different. I don't want to let anyone down. The only way you could do that, <laughs> let us down, is by not trying, Cass. Okay. Okay. I'll think about it. That's all we can ask. Go on and get some rest, okay? Yeah! We'll soon have so many people that love us way more. <laughs> and yeah, this is definitely a rose. Does that fill her up, though? Ooh, that's real close. Let's see. Leather belt. Leather belt. About time. I was wondering when you were going to stop sulking. Well, <laughs> this was a mistake. Bye. You walk out that door, kid, and the next time you come back in, I'll just treat you like a customer. I've clearly already messed this up. This isn't an exam. There's no right or wrong approach. Told you that early on. But I do have expectations of you. And you haven't met them recently. Yeah, okay. This was definitely a mistake. I didn't ask you to have expectations of me. Fine. You're gonna be a brat, I can't stop you. But you need to pull yourself together, kiddo. Can't keep letting yourself get lost in the brain swamp. Just stop letting it have a hold on you. You lost your job? You can get another. It's been weeks. You look awful. You can't keep letting your feelings control you like this. You aren't my mom, Rose. And you aren't my big sister either. 
I don't know if you thought treating me like you were would, like, fix whatever unresolved issues you clearly have with your own family thing. I'm sick of trying to just be your friend. I'm getting the cryptic wise benefactor routine from you. I came here to apologize for being so weird last time, but... Honestly, I think I deserve an apology myself. Do you know how messed up it is to tell someone who's struggling that they just need to do better, do more? You think I don't hear that from my own mind? Every second of every day? You stop being upset. It's that easy. If you were trying to help with that, good job. You made it worse. I'm sorry. Look. Cassidy. I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? I was going to try and defend myself. Or tell you how you have it wrong, but you don't. I shouldn't have said what I did. It was a lousy thing to do. And I'd be mad as hell if any of my family treated me that way. I've been worried about you. It just came out in the wrong way. Join the club. Maybe there's a newsletter tracking my ongoing spiral somewhere. Well, you're always welcome here. You let me know you're coming. And I'll make a space in the back room where you can just pass out. If you need to get away from other people. Including me, I guess. Thanks. And I am sorry for how I flipped out last time I was here. <laughs> Don't mention it. You've, uh, given me a lot to think about on a personal level. So I guess I appreciate it. If you want to stick around, I can start clearing that spot out now. I'll pass today. i take you up on it next time, though. Yeah. So close to being friends with everybody. Not just friends, but the bestest friends. Let's see. To-do list. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. We got some catching up to do with Bruce. And Fernando. And Ev. Is this new? Hmm. So close to all those lucid attacks as well. well let, let's see if there's anything we can get real quickie. Well, there's several things we can get real quickie. Radiant Edge! Ooh, that looks pretty. A <laughs> glowing rainbow blade that would make even the Care Bears jealous. Alright, I'm down. But that's for next time. And some of my free grinding time. Until then, though, we have everyone else to catch up with, and then we have one more round of loss to fight. And until then, this is going to be Jabby signing out. Y'all have a good one.